Hello and welcome everybody to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. My name is Rowdy, thank you very much for joining, for joining me. I just wanted to make a sort of, I guess, a special little episode. Well, just welcoming all the new subscribers I've received since making the uh, Rendog uh, tribute video. Um, with <laughs> showing off little Ren in the background there, the statue of him. He's pretty cute. I've, I've been really overwhelmed by the uh, response, and um, I thank everybody for showing their support to Ren uh, during this time, and I'm sure he appreciates it a real lot as well. So, uh, well done, guys. It's been awesome to see the dog craft community um, and the cyber dogs all pull together to support Ren, and uh, looking forward to seeing more of his content in the very near future. But anyway, what I thought I would do for this episode is, oh, let me just put my armor back on, just in case we need it, is just have uh, show you around the basic sort of setup that I have, just in case there's anybody who perhaps hasn't got time to catch up on the series. I know I had uh, somebody post and ask if that would be possible to sort of catch people up as to where we're at. So I will do that. Now, when we first spawned, let's let's hop up on the mountain here. If you <laughs> in the first episode, it took me so long to get out of the snow biome. Um, there is a snow biome way over in the distance over there. And now, let's just quickly hop. Up. I think this is yeah. No, I'm not going to be able to get up high enough at the moment. But um, way over in the distance, there is a snow biome. So that's where we spawned, and it took. I think maybe 40 minutes or so to get <laughs> to get all the way over to here. Um, I was actually going to build, as you can just see the top of the mountain there over the top of our wall. Um, I was going to actually set up there, but I ended up coming over here and finding a pretty sweet uh, rock face here that I wanted to build into. Um, and, uh, you know... I was, I was, I had different plans initially. Like I just wanted to have an actual rock face and a different sort of style of building, but I ended up changing my mind after a while. This little wall here, which I'm going to uh, relocate, as you can see, it has some names on it of the first uh, one, two, three. Is it six? Yeah, six subscribers to the channel, which are the names of our pets. Now this one here is called Dre. The the names uh, for the subscribers are of the dogs. So Dre I named because I have a cat called Dre, and he is. Let me just see. No, Firebet's not there. But um, he is uh, my avatar picture. So if you have a look at my picture uh, for my YouTube channel, my my little tile, that is my cat Dre. Um, so I decided to name our first cat after Dre. Then. I went hunting for another cat, and I found, now which one's which? This one over here is Firebert. Now Firebert, he, I got him and I was like, mm, you know, I want to try and find a different color cat. So I was, I'll, I'll go and try and get another one, but we got another one the same color. So we've got three cats after all that, and so this one's Firebert, named after one of the members of Dogcraft.net. He's pretty cool. So um, I decided to name him after uh, after Firebird. And this one is called Elizabeth. She, hello Elizabeth, how are you going? She is named after a character in Bioshock Infinite, a game that I had played, and uh, she is a, a girl in the game, so I thought I would name her after her. Now, as you can see, I've, <laughs> I'm not sure when whether this video will come out before I've uh, posted the second part um, of episode 27, I think it is, where I'm working on the pub. Um, I'll show you a quick look around. I've had some issues with the audio, you see. Um, I'm going to have to re-record my commentary, so I think it'll be going up after this video, so apologies for spoilers. But um, this is my new room. Uh, my house used to be over in the warehouse that we saw outside, and uh, we've basically totally changed all that now. So this is where I will be sleeping and spending most of my days until we finish the keep up the top of the castle. So I don't know if I can get up there at the moment because I've accidentally torn the ladder down digging digging this out. So let's see oh, if we have some... Oh, we do. Excellent. We have some ladders here. We'll put some ladders up and go up to the top. Actually, just before we do, we'll have a look at the throne and introduce you to all our dogs. This little guy here, um, he was the, he's been the newest addition. 
His name is Ren. He has a red collar. He's, he was suggested to me by one of my uh, subscribers to name uh, a dog after Ren as a little tribute uh, to him early on in the series. And I was like, yep, that's an awesome idea. I'll do that. So this is Ren. This little guy here is Hermit. And this one here is Lily. And the black collared one, oops, sorry, Lily. The black collared one is Mike. Senyak is the purple one. He's my buddy in, in, well, I was going to say in real life, everybody's my friend who's watching my videos, but I grew up with Senyaka, so he's he's an awesome friend. And these two here, both, one's light blue, one's dark blue. The dark blue one is named after Bean, one of our subscribers. And the light blue one is Charlie, another one of our subscribers. So that's the, the whole family. We've got to build a room, for, like rooms. I'm going to give one room to each of these animals. So they've got plenty of space and a bed and all that sort of good stuff. We will look after them. But for the moment, they have been taking care of the interior of the castle here. This is our throne here. Um, there's a lot of de deliberation on how to actually go about it. I couldn't make up my mind and I was, you know... Uh, tried a few different designs, but eventually I came up with something that uh, I think is pretty cool. I still, it's a little bit plain in here, but I do like the birch, the birch planks for the walls. We've got some nether brick on the ceiling, and what I'm planning to do here is I want to use um, perhaps this row here. The like this is all going to be um, bookshelves, right? So this row here will get pulled back into the wall by Siggy Pistons when you step on the pressure plate, which will be there. And so you'll be able to walk back along here and go down. That's just temporary, that, that, but those pressure plates. You'll be able to go down here, and I'm going to dig down and make like a, an, either an enchanting room or some sort of lab or something down the bottom there. Um, that was a really early on idea that I haven't got around to. I've been meaning to for a while, but we will get to it, no doubt. So that's pretty cool. I made this like little support structure. I put little pillars in to hold it up and I made it a bit thicker. You can see that it's three blocks thick instead of just the single block which the wall is. Just so that it gave it a bit, um, the wall a little bit of definition. I mean it's all very plain at the moment and it's going to have a lot of decorations. Shush! Animals! Quiet! Um, have a lot of decorations and probably chandeliers and stuff in the ceiling as well. But um, that will come in time. So for the moment, I've just been like tr concentrating on trying to get like a lot of buildings up and happening. Now down here is really, really cool. This was an awesome idea that was suggested to me. Um, was to build a Greek style bath um, area. So we've got some baths down here is... I thought I had a picture up on that wall. Hmm, that's strange. Anyway, down here is the, um, the cool pool, as I call it. So the water's... Um, cold down here so you can go in and if you just want to have a bit of a swim cool off on a hot day you've got this I've been meaning to replace these blocks up here with the um, I think they're called chiseled nether, nether blocks or something like that anyway with the pattern on them because it, the tile pattern looks really cool um, but you know I'll get one of, one of those things where I've got to do some renovations and this one I, I particularly like this one this is the hot tub I've got my armor on, which is terrible. Let's get rid of that. So we can just, after a hard day's work, killing stuff with our sword, <laughs> we can come and chill in the pool, uh, in the hot tub, which is, well, it's a bit hard to chill in the hot tub. Relax in the hot tub is probably the better, the better way to go about it, but I am pretty happy with that. Now let's just put our armor back on just in case. I've got 29 levels of experience. I don't want to blow up and lose them all if a Kribo drops in on me. That's why I've got Dre out here, actually, because I was having that issue. Um, I think I was digging out down here, actually, and I had a Creeper just walk in the front door and blow me. Well, didn't kill me, but he... Oh, what the jazz? What the jazz? No way. What are you doing, buddy? Dre, what the crap? You let... Oh, my goodness. And I'm a terrible shot. Far out. That scared the living daylights out of me. Well, that's exactly what happened. Man, I'm glad I was recording that. Dre, how did you let the creeper come in here, buddy? What the hell? Just move him a bit closer in. That way the creeper won't be so inclined. How the hell did that happen? Can't believe that. I haven't had that happen in so long. All right. 
So that's ex pretty much exactly what happened, except I was down here digging out this section, and he rolled up and just blew himself up, and that was a, a bit of annoyance. So, yeah, we'll... Uh, Hmm, I'm going to have to work on some doors, I think, Dre, because that was a very, very poor effort, letting that creeper in. Flame in the heck, could have caused some damage. Alright, so basically, the plans with the rest of the, um, the pub is to build a little balcony out over this sort of area out here, maybe one, two, three, four blocks out, so out to this edge here and all the way along, and at that height there, the height of the ceiling, so I think that'll look pretty cool. But for the moment, we're going to go upstairs. Let's just put these blocks here. Whoop. Ow. Up we go. There we go. So once I get things um, finished off a bit better... Oh, look at... What the hell? Guys, come on. You're not allowed up there. Get off. <laughs> you too. Flaming up on me walls. Unbelievable. Let's go and deal with these two. Oh, they died. Sweet. Oh, he didn't. Look at him. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm going to sneak around the back here and get him. No, you're not, buddy. Take it. That's right. Okay. Wow. All right. Now we've got things under control a little bit. This here, where we've got our bricks around the outside, this is sort of like where the keep is going to be. So the, the castle keep is where my quarters are going to be located. Um, quite possibly we're going to have a great library of some sort in here as well. It's going to go quite high up into the air. Um, and around the, like the outside here, uh, we're going to put, I thought I heard something. No, we're going to put water in, in there. So we'll have water running all the way around just for design purposes, really not nothing else. We might actually put an extra block down there so that it doesn't drip through. I'm, I'm not sure if the water will drip through. Because I believe that block there is the ceiling level. So either that or we might put blocks on the other side of the ceiling to make it a bit thicker. And so this walkway around here is where our guards will patrol, making sure that <laughs> no no mobs will be getting in to the castle keep. I'll, I'll actually have proper doors here um, to protect uh, protect the entryways. And so what will happen on each of these corners, we've got these spires where we will build... Um, like a staircase going up around it, and so it'll look like, get rid of that, it'll look like this sort of thing. I mean, obviously I'll be using actual stairs, but, you know, to give you guys a bit of an idea of what I am planning for the future. So, let's get up the top here and have a look. I'll just make sure nothing's going to shoot me off of here. No, we're looking pretty good at the moment. I should really put some lights on, on the back of the statue there, but, um... Yeah, so this is a pretty good view. I'm going to be, perhaps, hmm, the these spirals will probably go up another, I would say about the same height again. Depends how high I can go up, I'm not really sure. Probably go up about the same height again with, and then like have the roof on them. And then the keep will rise up above them and be even like, you know, even bigger again. So that's that's the plan. And as you can see, we've got our walls all around, all the way around there. Um, there's a tunnel that goes through that mountain, which I did in a recent episode. And inside that mountain, we're going to put our treasury vault. So we will be able to look after, store all our good stuff, like our emeralds and diamonds and gold and everything in there, and keep it safe. So that's the plan for that one. And I want to build an observatory on top, so like have a, a domed structure with a telescope looking out into the stars. Also, if you can see out in that direction, you can see our farmland. I still have to build the farmer's house. His house is going to be in, in there where the wheat is growing, if you can make that out. There's also some melons and pumpkins there. There's going to be a proper cacti farm. And it looks like some of those trees I've been planting have gone absolutely out of control, as per usual. So I'll have to take care of business there. Now, this building here is our warehouse. Like, initially, if you watch the first... Um, episode of the series you will know that i built a really rubbishy dumpy little house um just down in that bottom part there that i'm circling uh it was really bad I, uh, oh man i was at the end of that episode i just wanted to get something up quickly so that i could sleep and uh, get the episode done 
But um, yeah, I tore that down and, and rebuilt it in the second episode uh, a little better, a little better. But that's been our house for the longest time, and only in the few recent few recent episodes, I have replaced it with this giant warehouse, and we're putting like a conservatory up the top there. Hence all the glass. We're going to have like plants and and flowers and a bit of a garden up there as well, which should be awesome. So that is something I'm really looking forward to. Ouch! I meant to fall on that block. Let's. Let's get rid of these. So let's make our way down into the mine and I will show you what's been happening down there. I'll also, also show you the animal farm. We've got an animal farm where we can breed... I didn't realize I had all these bricks. Yeah, sweet. Where we can breed um, all, the, all the different animals and so we can keep a steady supply of leather and steak and chicken and feathers etc. And all that good stuff. So that's out here. I was originally going to put a gate through here, but um, I changed my mind. So we will be actually adjusting things around here because I'm going to end up bringing, instead of the wall connecting up to this um, spire here, it's going to come around, go through where the cow's pen is, and then into the side of the mountain here. At least that's the plan. So let's let's have a look along here. Here's something. Sheep, did you just... What is that sheep doing? Hey, buddy. Are you, are, you, are you a bit lost? What's going on? You're standing on a torch. Do you realize that could be very painful for your butt? Hmm. Well, yeah, uh, I, I would look shocked as well if that was me. So here's our chicken pen. Um, let's go in here. Don't escape. And pick up some eggs so we can run around pick up some eggs I wanted to put a few uh, bushes in and some gravel that they could scratch around in um, did I pick those up yep in here is the chicken coops what the just get I'm sorry chickens but you're gonna have to go you can't be hiding in behind there we may just have to move um, move this chest this chest I've been keeping our eggs in and all of our seeds we might just move this out a little bit so the chickens don't get stuck behind it Hmm, that's a, that's really annoying. I don't want to have to do that. Where can I put it? I put it there for the moment. So let's put our, all our eggs in there. So many eggs, the seeds. Let's feed them while we're here. May as well get some XP. Oh, good. You were going to go to bed, little fellow. All right. Oh, here you go. Have some seeds. You too. It's four, five. For some reason, the chickens like to get stuck in the fences in the corners. I I don't really know what that's all about. And we have got a magical sheep walking on air. That is that is something different. Get off of there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look at all this XP. Lots of little baby chickens. Good stuff. I like it. Let's put those seeds and everything back in there. Okay, good. Alrighty, I have... Are you stuck in the corner there? Come on, chicken. That's, that's annoying. So I may have to... I may change um, those... Uh, what is it, stone fences to like iron bars or something so they don't get stuck in there all the time. That's a bit annoying. Here's our sheep. I dyed all the sheep red uh, so that I can use uh, get the red wool to use as carpet in the castle. Hey, piggy. Got a few pigs in there as well. Um, I haven't really bothered breeding too many of them just because I don't really tend to eat uh, pork chops all that often. It's more steak. Steak that we eat and some bread lately as well. So look at all these cows. I didn't realize I had so many. All right. So let's move on and head towards the mine, and I'll be able to show you the mining outpost. And a little thing I have been working on um, just trying to get. Um, what would I say? Actually, let's quickly look at the crypt. Now, this, this entryway is going to be moved over to the other side, so we'll come in the other way, but. Um, You'll be able to get a basic feel for what I was going for. There's an automatic door there, and normally I don't have these uh, torches. It's just the redstone torches, so it's pretty dark. Normally I have um, those stairs over here, but been starting to adjust things. So, yeah, that's what's happened down here. It's a bit of a construct construction site. There's endermen spawn in here sometimes and move blocks of gravel around. And this is my tomb in here, which I was pretty happy with how this turned out, actually. This is really sweet. The first time I died was in between, I think, episode 1 and 2. I fell into lava. I wasn't recording at the time. I was just um, out wandering around. 
And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to theme my tomb after lava. Like, that was my theme. Uh, excuse me, I just have some coffee here. That's awesome. And this is it. So uh, I think it's pretty cool. I wanted it compact. I wanted it to be like have lava everywhere, but not... Um, I did almost fall in at one stage while I was making this too, which would have been really uh, quite hilarious. So this is, this is where I rest. I've got to get around to putting... I'm going to put a um, a chest down there, so that, you know that can be my coffin. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. But things tend to spawn when you don't have these torches. They'll all spawn up here, and then they'll walk in there. So you'll come along, and you think nothing's up here, and you open the door, and then there's like creepers and all sorts there. So you have to be a little careful at times. But um, that's pretty cool. I, I really like this. So yeah, we're just I'm just in the process of swapping that entryway over to here and walling up this side just so we can use the space out here for something uh, different. Okay, so... Oh yeah, a funny story about this. When I was making this, like the inside of him was hollow and I didn't think about mobs spawning in there. So I went and had a sleep in my room, came back out and I could hear an enderman. I was like, where the heck is he? I was looking around all over the place, couldn't see him. And eventually I figured out he was just hiding in the butt of Wren, <laughs> of the statue of Wren, which was pretty funny. Uh, so I've put, a, I've put a torch in there and sort of filled it up a little bit, so that cannot happen anymore. Now, let's have a quick look down in the cellar here. I'll show you my wine barrel. Nothing too spectacular, but it is pretty cool. I like it. I think it's, I think it's all right. We've got a, a painting on the wall. We've got a couple of brewing stands where you can get a brew. You can open open this up and get some uh, get some wine, blue wine at that out, out of out of the wine barrel, and that's just like a, a water source for us, so we can get some water. I'm going to put another wine barrel in, maybe coming off that wall, but I'd have to obviously take that painting down. Um, so that's pretty cool. I quite like that. And then this is just going to be our storage area. I have not really moved anything. Um, most of our storage is downstairs, of course. So I will get around to moving it all up into here and getting it all sorted. I do want to get um, item frames and put them like next to the chest so it tells me what's in each chest. So I will uh, I will do that as well. And then, yeah, just upstairs we're going to have like hanging plants if we can. I'm going to put um, beams across and, you know, hang, hang vines off and stuff like that. So it should be pretty cool once we get around to doing that. I've got some interesting ideas for it so let's uh, out the back here I used to have like a little swimming pool area where I could get water from I've left a little bit there just to remind me of it but um, other than that it's just a walkway now if I can get inside that's awesome okay get some music cranking ah oh, there we go sweet and have some bread I'm actually thinking I might change the type of food I'm eating I've been eating bread for ages um, let's switch over to, what have we, well, we've got a lot of steaks, so I'm going to take the steaks. Alright. Now, I don't think, has this got anything? Oh, it's got some steak in it. Alright, let's head downstairs. I built this basement, uh, quite a little while ago now, but, yeah, this has basically been expanded a little to a big storage area. I initially, there was a wall here, like, I didn't have any of that area, I only made that fairly recently. And our enchanting table, of course, which we're nearly ready to enchant something. Or maybe do some repair work. Tor is our first diamond pickaxe, I believe. Dawnbreaker was our first diamond sword. Uh, our diamond shovel, which has I'm breaking three on it, which I'll have to repair. And then we've got a diamond helmet with protection four, which is really sweet. Um, a diamond chest plate with fire protection and thorns two. And then projectile protection on our leggings and protection and feather falling on our boots, which is really awesome. The feather falling is the one I really like. Uh, we have a gold helmet in here with respiration 3. I would love to get aqua affinity and put it on there. I, I used a golden helmet just because I had read somewhere that if you use a golden helmet, like I wouldn't be going into battle with this thing, but I was thinking for working underwater. If you use a golden helmet, you have a better chance of getting more enchants or something. So I was like, okay, I'll try it out. And that's what we got. So I've got to um, work on getting an affinity, a aqua affinity enchant and put it on there as well. 
Um, this box here has our fireworks. If you want to go and have a look at our fireworks episode, episode 20. Um, we set them all off and like I saved the world, set them off and then reloaded so I could put them in there. And when we get even more gunpowder, we'll make even more and have a bigger fireworks ceremony. Um, there's a bit of a leakage issue going on in the ceiling. This is our secret entryway out to the side here. And so this is sort of like the front entryway to the mine. I don't really use this entryway too much anymore. I go down the other way. But um, we've got a retaining wall over there. I will be doing a proper proper entryway here with like iron bars and that sort of stuff. But down this way we head. This was a cave that I have mined out and like, you know, fixed up, made it look a little bit better. This is our portal to the nether. I'll actually have to take you through there. We have a stronghold that we've been to as well and I th I've had a lot of fun at that stronghold we went to the end and, <laughs> and I think I lasted mm, three seconds before the dragon knocked me into oblivion <laughs> which <laughs> I had to laugh that was funny that was the plan I didn't have any XP or take any good gear because I, I wasn't ready for defeating the dragon so um, oh yeah, I'm just skipping over this. I wasn't ready for defeating the dragon, so I, I was just planning to go there, have a look and see what it was like, and die, but not quite so quickly. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was that was pretty funny. Anyway, this this spiral staircase was inspired by uh, my dad actually, who works as a fitter and turner and a welder and an engineer designer type thing. So I I had to make it out of wood. I didn't want to make it out of iron blocks. Um, I was thinking I was going to put some railing around the edges, but then I eventually just changed my mind, put this um, jungle wood up the sides. I think it looks pretty cool. And yeah, we've got this sweet spiral staircase down to the mine. So yeah, it was good until I set, um, like I put all my planks down here and I didn't realize there was lava underneath and it set fire to everything. And I only just managed to stop it burning absolutely everything down. So that was very fortunate. <laughs> pretty funny. I, you know, you got to have a laugh when these sorts of things happen. So that was pretty cool. Now we've got our mining out, um, outpost or base camp out here, and this has seen some significant expansion too. This was just a, like initial, initially it was just that doorway. We didn't even come in this way, and it was just like a little room here to, you know basically have a bed so we could sleep and set our spawn but it's gradually expanded and then we've got all our furnaces I will be changing this as well I've thought of an idea for some automatic furnacing <laughs> of materials so I will be changing things up um, there's like a little storage area out here but I, I haven't really used that too too much so this back here is just a little a little room where I can sleep I've got some water here so if I need to grab a water bucket of water I can um, out this way actually was one of the first adventures we went on and over that direction are some abandoned mine shafts which were some of the early episodes we went into so that was pretty cool now this is this is what I wanted to show you in here this is a change I have made um, it's very like rough and and ready but I have made this looping track that goes out to some chests I have out near where the tree farm is and basically that little guy's just running around automatically the the track he's got a hopper in him and he's picking up stuff from a chest and dropping it off in which block is it can't tell I think it's this block here yeah in that chest so let's see how he's gone he's been going for a little while now so I'm gonna jump down here and see what it's what he's put in there he's put a little bit of stuff so the plan is to get a whole bunch of those guys going at once and um, hopefully they'll be able to work pretty pretty quickly and then I will get another mo like rail cart and loop it up all the way up to the warehouse and it will have like a loop back down and they'll just keep doing that um, and hopefully it'll it'll sort of I'll be able to automate it so that they fill in all of our chests for us up there automatically with the things that I mine and the wood that we get from down here so now let's let's go out and I'll show you the tree farm I've done a bit of work on this of um, I grew some grass down from the top of like I just tunneled down spir in a spiral and and eventually it took forever but I grew some grass and brought it down here just 
I think it looks cool. I think it's nice. Underground, you've got a bit of greenery. So this is our tree farm area. We have some birch, birch trees down the back. We've got oak there and spruce trees here, as you can see. And I had to mine out a heck of a lot more than what I thought I would need to. Thankfully, no mobs have spawned in here as of yet. Um, I'm waiting for the day when a creeper just pops out and goes to town, but so far so good. As you can tell, we're quite low. What level are we on? Level 7 here. So we get get a bit of void fog, which is a bit annoying, but, you know, it, it all works. It saves having to, like, run around and deforest the entire area outside, which we don't want to do. I don't want to ruin the natural environment. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good, I think. Um, it gives us plenty of supply of timber, which is always important. There we go, and get through there. Now, this is the chest that he's picking up items from. And he's clearing away quite a, quite a bit of stuff. So that's just one guy, and he just keeps going forever. So, um... <laughs> there you go, speak of the devil. So that's really, really cool. So I, um, I'm pretty stoked with that, and we will make it a major project to uh, record building the railway up to the warehouse uh, one day. So that's pretty much everything except the nether, I think, and the stronghold. Whoops. Yeah, so uh, once again, I'd like to say thank you everyone who has joined me uh, over the past few days. Thank you to my original subscribers who have been here since the start as well. Um, I'm continually looking at working on the quality of my videos. I am very new to <laughs> to YouTube, so anytime you can give me any uh, suggestions on how to improve, uh, constructive of course, um, you know, let me know in the comments and I will endeavour to do my best. Um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm pretty new to all this, like I love Minecraft and I love playing quite a lot of different games. But as far as like editing and, and that sort of thing, there's always plenty I can work on and improve on. So I, I uh, look to you guys to give me some pointers in that regard as to what you want to see. Um, because, hey, I'm doing, I'm doing all this just because I enjoy it. Like, that's, that's my thing. I've always enjoyed watching um, Let's Plays, as I'm sure all of you do. So, oh yes, that's my quest board. I haven't filled in yet. I've got to, got to fill that in with um, all of the things that we need to build. But, um, yeah, yeah, definitely let me know any any helpful hints, guys. Oh, we didn't want to put that in the chest. Eat. There we go. Let's take a bit of a look here now to finish off the episode. So, yeah, once again, thank you for your support for Ren. Um, that has really been amazing. And I'm so pleased at how everyone's pulled together to, to help him. Um, through this time and yeah I'm looking forward to many more channels with all of uh, many more channels many more episodes of my Minecraft series with you guys if you ever want me to build anything have any build suggestions etc let me know I am actually thinking um, somebody made a suggestion to to build something along the lines of the doggolith like so we could have like names of subscribers etc uh, in the series and while that's awesome I don't want to copy Ren in that regard like I want to have people's names in my series but um, I want to think of a different way and so far sort of what I'm thinking is um, we can name areas like and, and buildings after people so that's that's what I'm sort of thinking I'm not a hundred percent set on that but if you have ideas by all means let me know in the comments and I will take that on board I want to think of something cool just to be able to reward you guys and just each each episode, pick someone and uh, put them put them into my world in some somehow. Because hey, uh, you guys take the time to watch my videos, so I, you know it's a little bit I can give back as well. So thank you very much, everybody, uh, for this, and I will catch you all in my next episode. My name is Rowdy. Goodbye.